You are listening to the O'Brien and Bolt Podcast. Well, I think we've straightened out the uh, technical difficulties, hopefully. Uh, We're in the uh, playoffs of the baseball season in October, and on the phone, I have Coach uh, Stump Wilson. Stump, are you there? Now you can hear me. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, just loud and clear. I could hear you before. You couldn't couldn't hear me. I could not hear you. No, uh, it was so strange, because I... I just went to the orthologist the other day to check out my ear ears. Yeah, and my right my my, my right ear is not working real good. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, that's because I got I got hit by a foul ball. Oh, so no. it's a, one of the one of the uh, the hazards of the game that I love. Oh, yeah, you do too. I heard you talk about baseball a little bit earlier. Yeah, we're real excited up here at North uh, Palomino High School because you know what. You know what, Michael? What's that? Uh, we scored three runs this season. You three how, uh, three runs the entire season? Well, yeah, but you remember last season we didn't we didn't get we got one guy on bench. Remember because he got uh, hit hit in the head. Uh huh. And so he you when you when that happened you get to go to first base free. Right. Yeah. You don't have to hit the ball at all after the brawl uh, subsides. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No. Well. Yeah. Well. There. There. There was no problem. But we. We have a, a. A real good player that we got late in the season, transferred from. Uh, from down your way, and. Uh, and she uh, is mean, and she is big, and she can hit the ball, <laughs> and she knows how to run, and she knows which direction to run into. Even more important. Well, that's uh, that's very promising. Yeah. So, Stump, for those who uh, don't know, now you you coach the Pal- I am the third base coach. Third base uh-huh. coach. Mm-hmm. That's right of the North Palomino High School Panthers. I did get laid off during COVID. Well, sure. That, I'm but, sorry that, that happens. But we're all back, and of course, we don't we don't make any money doing it. You know, we do it because we love the game. Well, cool. That's the best. Yeah, you're not doing it for the money. I can't imagine that you would be. Uh, it's a, it's the national past time, not the national past tense. I'm well, thinking about having a T-shirt made. I think you should. Yeah, maybe not. Don't, won't, fit, maybe, won't won't fit on a hat. Maybe, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Maybe no, don't have a lot of them made, but I yeah, have a couple made. I think might be a good idea. So you've gotten three runs this season, and uh, that's mm-hmm. and your, she did she did all of them. And that was the, the best you've ever done. I, I, she scored all three runs, and I'm not going to mention Cindy's name. Because she said, "What do not? She doesn't need the publicity, right? For all kinds of reasons and stuff. You know, she transferred here, not of her own accord, really, but yeah, it was mandated. Anyway, she said, uh, now did, I didn't. I so I, that's why I'm not going to mention her name. Uh-huh. Okay, well, that's that's fine. So because she 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 said, don't mention my name. Mm-hmm. So now is it based? Yeah, and her parents said the same thing. Okay, well we won't. They don't. Need, they don't need that. Well, that that's all behind them. And they don't need people. We won't mention Cindy. Trying to names. figure out where they moved to and all that. Got it. Now what? North uh, Palomino. Right. What? Uh, so um, I, I take it that the season then is over for you, or, or she was adamant about it too. She said, "If you mention my name, mm-hmm. I'm going to come looking for you." Okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. But. I, but that's why I'm not, not I'm ne- I am not going to. And you can, even if I did, you could edit it out and all that. Uh, right. Go ahead. Now, your season, so your season is over. What are you going to do during the off season to, to prepare for uh, next season? For, well, you know, provided well, that you are still going to be coaching then. Well, we're, no, I'm going to practice. I, just like the players do, I practice. You're right. You know, you got to you got to stay in shape. Sure. You got to get. You don't want to forget because once you forget how to ride a bike, you can't get on it and just go. I'm riding up the hill. Right. Because you, you'll fall off. So what I do is I got I get up there. Me and my wife, who's very handy by the way, she's she's and quite a crafts person. Uh-huh. She could make these t-shirts we were talking about earlier. If she wanted to. We talked. I think one one time I was on your show. We talked about the oven mitts. Oh yes. In North Alamino High School. You were s- oven selling mitts. those to uh, raise. She had a card table. Hmm. She had a card table, yeah. and she sold, I don't know, but at least almost enough to pay for, uh, you know, all the materials and time and everything. Sure. But uh, the point is practice makes perfect, okay. and that's what we're all about. So she will help me coach during the off season, and she'll just come running. We go out to the ball field. She'll come running around second, and I'll be jumping up and down on third base. 
wave, come on, come on. You know, there's nobody there or anything, but she'll come in and I'll say, down, slide, or stand, you can stand up, or mm-hmm. or sometimes, you know, and she'll, she'll hang out on third base with me and we'll talk a little bit about the kids and stuff. And oh, that sounds pretty We're not, we don't, we don't, we don't get to see them all that often anymore because right. they're grown up and long gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like you are really into the, uh, the inner game, the mind game of baseball, and that you, uh, it's not just about the physical, uh, techniques and, and, uh, talent of playing baseball well, but that's, it's the that's, mental that's rad, game. Mike. right so tell yeah, how do you right. tell us about some some secrets some inner secrets of uh, well it's coaching. psychology uh, it's psychology, psychology it's right. about the, the id and the ego and it's intimidation my friend mm-hmm. and that's what we did i think we talked about that last time the way we intimidate those other teams and right. they get because we do our uh up north palomino high school uh Pan- panther chant and pre-game dance mm-hmm. and that's a combination of all kinds of dance styles and techniques oh, and whatnot i'm from, sorry I'm from I'm every, sorry i missed that you, you you miss that i'm sorry i haven't seen that yet that's uh well yeah, we have that, it on v, uh, well we we have it on v2 on youtube well I, I i'll try to watch that sometime. no i didn't say youtube i said v2 which v2, is I'm not, not we have anyway uh so hey uh yeah, yeah. no we intimidate the other team that's okay. how we well, we, it, we mastermind well let me ask you this what about your own team so let's say your team and it sounds like it has uh suffers a, a big loss okay or a frequent lo- loss of games oh, we're used to that right okay so how, how do you done. how do you prepare your team for the next game so they're not already thinking oh we're losers or we're you know what how do you what do you how do you help them well i, I think i can answer that real easy with just two words okay okay yeah Ice ice cream. Ice cream, all right. Yeah. So when when we lose a game, we're sullen, we're depressed. Mm-hmm. There's like yeah. a dark cloud that hangs right. over each and every one of our, our heads because we're team players and we don't hug anymore because of the law. Mm-hmm. But we do, we go down and we stand in line in front of the ice cream parlor and we'll we'll each go in and we'll sample a couple flavors and what uh and there might be a strawberry organic mm-hmm. or some of the kids are like prone to not eat the ones with the rocky road nuts mm-hmm. allergies right. or the sure. non dairy thing a lot of them are yeah. lacto intolerant right. whatever they okay. whatever they want you know mm-hmm. and i and me and my wife we will spring for it generally cuz we're we have no budget Mm-hmm. We don't charge for these games, neither. You can sit wherever you want if there's seating available. Wow. And there he is, okay. always. So the key okay. is to bounce back from a loss, the key is ice cream. Well, no, 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 no. That's what, that's what you know, that takes, that's mis- that's like eating a bowl of sunshine or a cone, a cone of sunshine. And then you can giggle and laugh, and, and they do love to do that. And yeah. We tease each other and prod each other, wow. and we... Check each other for uh, yeah. Well, if you're damage, just, if you're just joining, yeah. if you're just joining us, I'm talking to Stump Wilson, third base coach for third the base. Palomino High School, North Palomino High School Panthers right. team. And if you're just joining us, I'd say you're lucky. So, coach, I'm sorry, but we're we're, we're running we're running out of time here. Good luck in the off season. Thank you for your insights on the the inner game of baseball. Hey, keep sliding, and you'll be safe. We'll leave everybody with that. Thank you can you. incorporate that into all kinds of different aspects of your lifetime. You've been listening to O'Brien and Bolt, the podcast. I'm Michael O'Brien. And I'm Jeff Bolt. And our job is to entertain as well as inform. You know, if you like what you heard today, please give us a big thumbs up on your source for all your podcasts. And you can find us on Facebook at O'Brien and Bolt. Thanks.